Many times we hear about being the first owner will certainly make the most profit, but how about the second or subsequent owner? And especially in this bullish market where record high price are being transacted, are there still opportunities for home seekers like yourself to purchase a resale home and still make a profit when you want to sell off the next time? Hi everyone, this is Eric from The Real Estate Experience and today I'm going to share with you how are we going to spot resale property that has a higher chance that owners is willing to accept at a larger discount for buyers like yourself. Because there are facts that by understanding all this process, it will be able to help you to know who are the owners who are more willing to negotiate the price with you. And now let's take a look at MV Residences. 1239 was transacted in September 2021 at 1.13 million. The second owner who bought the unit was at 1.365 million and therefore make a huge loss of 235,000. The first owner over there who bought at stack 39 ranges from the lowest at 980,000 to the highest at 1.066 million. And with the data showing that it's able to achieve a 1.365 million, we can strongly say that 1239 which was bought at 1.13 million is at a very safe entry price. Another important point to note is that the same stack at 0339 which was also transacted in September 2021 was at 1.155 million. So a lower unit was purchased at a much higher entry price. That also means that if the lower unit were to sell next time, they would definitely help to push up the price for the higher level unit. And so let's now move on to the next comparison which I have for you is the 4 beta at MB Residences. The third owner bought at 1.3 million. That also means that the second owner make a huge loss of about 50,000. Important things to note is that all the owners from Stack 35 bought at the price of around 1.2 million to 1.28 million. What does this actually tell us? If any of the owners were to sell it off next time, they would definitely set the benchmark price of above 1.3 million mark and therefore making this low floor unit a very reasonable purchase which will be easy to exit next time. Moving on to the next example I have for you is 8 at Woodleigh. Let's take a look at Stack 18. Both units were transacted in 2021, but there is a huge disparity in terms of the purchase price in just two months. Level 9 was sold at 1.68 million, while level 13 was sold at 1.588 million. Four levels up and cheaper by 100,000. Why is that so? The key difference is that the owner at level 9 bought the unit at a higher price back in 2017 and therefore would like to sell the property at a higher pricing. But for level 13, the owner bought the unit during the launch time period at a much cheaper price in 2009 and still able to make a cool profit of 653000 despite transacting lower than that of level 9. Therefore, it is also important to know when did the seller purchase the property because it will be easier to negotiate on the price when buying your next home in the resale market. In general, this method does not apply to all projects across Singapore. You need to understand the price trend of the particular development that you are looking at. Another point to note is that most owners who bought their property between 2010 to 2013 are either not making much profit or are selling at a loss and it will definitely be a great opportunity for you to purchase in the resale market. If you want to understand more about the entire market sentiment, feel free to reach out to me for the quick chat. I hope you learned something from today's sharing. If you find this video useful, remember to like and subscribe. And once again, Eric here. I will see you guys soon.